Good day everyone! Welcome to another Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to factor quadratic trinomial wherein the numerical coefficient of the first term is not equal to 1. So, so here are the steps in factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2. In this type of factoring, we will focus on the numerical coefficient of the first term, which is A, and the constant term, which is C. And then we're going to multiply them and then next is we're going to find the factors of A and C whose sum is equal to B. And then we're going to express B to the sum of these factors. Then after that, we're going to apply factoring by grouping. Alright. So let's have an example. For example, we have 7b squared plus 16b plus 4. So since this is a quadratic trinomial, in order for us to do that we need to identify our our a and c we need to get the product of the numerical coefficient of the first term and the constant term so 7 times 4 it is equal to 20 28 Ayan. okay so after that after getting the product of a and c we need to get the factor of the product of a and c so we need to prepare M and N. Okay? We need to identify the factors of 28 that when we add, the answer will be equal to our B, which is the numerical coefficient of the middle term. Okay? So, let's identify the factors of 28. So, we have 7 times 4. Okay? We have 14 times 2. Negative 7 times negative 4 negative 14 times negative 2 and then let's add them okay adding we have 11 we have 16 negative 11 and negative 16 now we need to identify the the factor that has the sum of the middle term so ito yon we need to get this now instead of doing the grouping symbol already for case 2 we need to express the middle term as the sum of 14 and 2 we just have to have positive 14 plus 2 and we also need to copy the variable of the middle term okay now after that we're going to bring down our other terms so we have 7b squared over here and we have positive 4 in the other side so now that you have four terms in a, your polynomial you can now apply the factoring by grouping so we need to group them okay group first group second group okay now, based on the rules in factoring by grouping, we need to factor each group. So, for the first group, the greatest common factor is 7b. Factor out 7b, we will have b plus 2. Okay, from the other group, we have, okay, let's factor. So, plus, we need to copy the plus symbol. The greatest common factor in this group, the second group, will be 2. So, we factor out 2. The remaining factors will be b plus 2. And we know that we have a common factor and we need to factor that out. Okay, so factoring out the common factor, b plus 2. And the remaining factor will be 7b plus 2. And that's how you factor quadratic trinomial. Okay, so here is your final answer. We have the quantity of b plus 2 times the quantity of 7b plus 2. Okay, and let's have another example. For example, we have 3a squared minus 10ab minus 8b squared. So first thing that we need to do is we need to identify the product of a and c. Okay, so we will multiply the value of a and c. So 3 times negative 8 that is equal to negative 24 okay after getting the product of a and c we need to factor or get the factor of a and c or negative 24 that when we add it is equal to b okay negative 10 so 
let's repair our table so we have m and n the factors of negative 24 that when we add the answer is equal to p so we have 12 and negative 2 we have negative 12 and positive 2 we have 6 and 4 negative 4 we have negative 6 and positive 4 we have ano pa? Ayan. we have negative 3 and 8 and 8 negative 8 and 3 okay so now we need to add all the factors or let's add the factors we have positive 10 we have negative 10 we have positive 2 we have negative 2 and we have 5 and negative 5 now let's identify the factor that when we add it is equal to negative 10 so that is this one okay take note when you already got the factors that the sum is the middle term you just you can stop there no need for you to list down all the factors possible okay so again I'm just showing you the process and again if you already encounter the sum that is the middle term or the factor that has the sum of the middle term then you can stop listing down the factors okay so after that okay after getting the factor of negative 24 that has the sum of negative 10 we will now express negative 10 a b to the to this um, factor okay the sum of this using this factor so express it to the sum so we have we can list this as negative 12 plus 2 and we need to include the middle variable or the variables we need to include the variable so we have negative 12 a b and 2 positive 2 a b then followed by copying the first term and the last term so we have 3 a squared minus 8 b squared then after that you already know that you have four terms and you are now going to apply factoring by grouping so we will now group them okay first group second group Okay, in grouping, we need to factor out the greatest common factor of each group. So, for the first group, we have the greatest common factor of the first group is 3a. So, the remaining group um, factor will be a minus 4b. Okay, and for the second group, greatest common factor is 2b. Therefore, the, the remaining factor will be a a minus 4 b you will observe that you have a common factor which is a minus 4 b so we need to factor that out we have factoring out a minus 4 b and the remaining factor will be 3 a plus 2 b and that will be the factored form of your given trinomial. Now that you already know how to factor quadratic trinomial case number 2, okay, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to practice your new skills. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.